Hello, this is a tutorial on using the Hemingway Editor app. In order to access the Hemingway Editor, you go to www.hemingwayapp.com. And what this does is it allows you to input text, whether it's a paragraph, a sentence, an entire paper, and it will give you some help on improving the writing. So it's an edit and analyzing tool for your writing. So we have an example of some writing here in the Write tab. Notice there's Write, Edit, and Help. And I'll talk about this toolbar in a second. So we're in the Hemingway Editor. We have some text in here as a sample. You would put your own text in here and do this work. So what you will do is you'll come over here to the right side and you will click on the Edit button, which then gives you a bunch of information. A lot of this is color-coded. And then you have the key over here to the right side. So you see that this first sentence is highlighted in this yellow color. If you find the color over here, you can see out of the 11 sentences that are in this list, one of them is qualifying into this yellow color, which means sentence, one of 11 sentences is hard to read. Okay, one of 11 sentences is hard to read. The red area here, if you see a red highlight, so that's what we have here, red highlight. This kind of describes what's going on there. Um, this is hard to read. Uh, lost trying to follow the meeting, splitting logic, so forth. So try editing this to remove the red. Okay. Uh, the purple here, uh, this particular phrase has a simpler alternative. The blue, there's an adverb that is uh, being recommended to remove. And then the green here is passive voice. They also tell you the readability and the particular grade level. Now, I wouldn't get all hung up on trying to match the grade level specifically with the grade level that you're in, unless that's really your intention. Oftentimes, a lower reading level, for example, for web pages, the conversation is between grade level 6 and grade level 10 would appeal to your entire audience. But you can make some of these adjustments here, and you will notice that your readability level will improve, as will uh, the grade level. You can get some additional information here, number of characters, number of letters, sentences, and so forth. So you can use that information or not, you know, as you, as you see fit. Okay. Also, there's a, there's a help button here, which kind of describes all those particular categories that we were talking about in much more detail and gives you some additional information that could be valuable to you. And again, if I flip back to the right area, I could go ahead and I could make those changes that I would need to make. So if I wanted to do a different word here, I would just highlight it delete it, and I would put in whatever word that I wanted to put in. So you would essentially copy and paste your paragraph, your sentence, or an entire paper here if you'd like. You would run it through the edit editor here, determine what you needed to fix. You could go back and fix those items just the way that you needed it. Then you would copy and paste this entire set of your words back into either the Word document or the Google Docs or you know, back into a discussion board post, wherever it was that you needed to put the final results of this work. You also have the ability, you can highlight certain things just like you do in Word or Google Docs, and you can use some of these characters. You probably recognize what they are. That was the bold. That was the italicized. I can actually create um, bulleted lists, numbered lists. I can actually have various types of indents and outdents. I can create a hyperlink. Um, I have this in paragraph mode right now, but I could 
create things in a header one, header two, header three type of a thing. So it can actually help you with the paper layout as well. So again, if I was going to um, put my own work here rather than utilizing this kind of template, an example that Hemingway Editor has created for us, all I would do is highlight this and delete it. So now I have kind of a blank screen to work with. And maybe I'm going to go grab, you know, a document that I might have already. Bring that in. Uh, another way that I could have, I actually kind of highlighted and hit delete, but if you use the control A, that will be a select all shortcut or command A if you're on a Mac and then just hit delete or backspace and that will eliminate everything that's on the page. And then I'm just going to paste that work in here and then I can go ahead and hit the edit and I can see if I have any issues. We don't have a lot of things here. These are basically just individual statements. And so you can see that our grade level is not that good, even though we may not have had any of those problems pointed out, but we may want to go ahead and, you know, work on some things back here in that, in that right mode. And maybe we're going to fix some things up there a little bit, eliminate some of, you know, the spacing, make it look like it's a little bit more of a paper. And then go back to the edit mode and see if we have anything's changed here. Well, we haven't really improved it at all, but still don't have any problems. So just an example of some of the text that you can play with. And it can be a nice way to kind of help you take a look at your writing, looking at that editing and analyzing function of this area over here, and kind of determine what it is that you need to do in order to improve your writing. Then grab your work and copy and paste it back either into the, the document that you're going to submit or actually uh, into uh, wherever it is, whether it's an email, whether it's a website post, whether it happens to be something uh, in your course, maybe on the discussion board. You can actually do this work ahead of time and kind of take a look at what does it look like your ultimate output is going to be. And this can be a nice little help for you. So this is a short, sweet uh, tutorial on using the Hemingway Editor. Again, HemingwayApp.com. You can take anything from Google Docs to Word to you know, website passages. You can put any text into this particular spot and use the Hemingway Editor to determine how well the writing actually is. And you can make some adjustments and improve the readability and grade level. Thank you.